PD. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung. Come out and start. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Sing Alleluia. Yahweh's people dance for joy. Oh, come before the Lord and play for Him on glad tambourines and let your trumpet sound. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Let your song be sung from mountains high. Sing a new song unto the Lord. Sing Alleluia. We are gathered together to praise and thank the Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit welcome to Eucharistic celebration my dear brothers and sisters in our gospel for the day we will hear a beautiful story of the healing of ten lepers but only one went back to God thanking him praising God for the goodness he received my dear brothers and sisters let us be mindful always that whenever we receive the Eucharist or celebrate the Eucharist the Mass, it is a thanksgiving. Before we ask God with our different intentions and prayer requests, let us first thank Him for the many blessings He has bestowed in our life. Marami tayong dapat pagpasalamatan sa Diyos. At sa bawat misa nating pinagdiriwang, sana ito ang ating maging unang adhikain, magpasalamat sa Diyos. Today, we also remember St. Martin of Tours, is one of the saints who dedicated his life in helping the poor, in helping the needy. The blessings he received from God is also the blessing he shared to other people. Let us now pause for a moment. We ask for God's mercy and pardon for all, this, for all our sins so that we are worthy again to celebrate this Thanksgiving Mass, the Eucharist. Together we pray, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord, our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who are glorified in the Bishop St. Martin, both by his life and death, make new, we pray, the wonders of your grace in our hearts, that neither death nor life may separate us from your love. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, remind them to be under the control of magistrates and, and authorities, to be obedient, to be open to every good enterprise. They are to slander no one, to be peaceable, considerate, exercising all graciousness towards everyone. For we ourselves were only foolish, disobedient, 
deluded, slaves to various desires and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful ourselves in hating one another. But when the kindness and generous love of God our Savior appeared, not because of any righteous deeds we have done, but because of His mercy, He saved us through the path of birth of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom He richly poured out on us through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that we might be justified by His grace and become heir, heirs in hope of eternal life. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pasture, He gives me repose. Beside restful water, He leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in the right path for His name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and stuff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of your foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he, ent he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go, show yourself to the priest. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. My dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed Wednesday po sa ating lahat. The story in our gospel for today is one of the many beautiful stories of Jesus' miracles and healing. Our gospel started when Jesus was traveling to Jerusalem and then he passed by Samaria and Galilee and entered a village. When Jesus entered the village, he saw ten lepers. And these ten lepers stood at a distance Shouting, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. If you notice, the lepers did not approach closer to Jesus, did not come closer to Jesus. 
or touch Jesus and beg for healing. Because we know no, that lepers during the time of Jesus are considered unclean. Once you touch a leper, you will also be contaminated and considered to be unclean. Sabi ko siguro sa panahon natin ngayon sa pandemya, ito mga lepers na ito, pinapractice nila yung tinatawag natin ngayon na social distancing. They distance themselves from others so that they cannot contaminate or infect others. And sickness before like leprosy is always associated with sin. Pag may sakit ka, ikaw ay makasalanan. Ikaw ay pinarusahan ng Diyos. And having this situation, the lepers are suffering not only physical pain because of their sickness, but they also suffer emotional and spiritual pain in their life because they are considered outcasts in society. They were driven out of the, in the community. May kwento pa na pag ikaw ay may sakit gaya ng leprosy, you will have a bell. No? At kung ikaw ay dadaan sa community, or if you will go to the public to pass by, you will ring the bell so that people would notice that you have leprosy and people would run away. Siguro kung sa panahon natin ngayon, pandemya, lahat ng mga may COVID ay may dalang bell. No? At alam natin na yung may mga nagbebel ay may COVID, tatakbo tayo. Iiwasan natin sila. And this is a very painful and sad to those who are those people who are sick. And so when Jesus saw them, and when they saw Jesus, they asked for healing. Jesus, have pity on us. Then Jesus said to them, Go show yourself to the priest. During the time of Jesus, it's only the priest as the leader of the community who can declare that a sick person like those who have lepers or leprosy are considered clean and can go back to the community. They can go back to, the, to their society. Yet, along the road, they were already healed by Jesus. They recognized that they were already cleansed by Jesus. Here we could see that Jesus' healing power or the miracle power of Jesus to heal is not only touching a person and they will be healed, but even by words, Jesus can heal us. If you remember a sto the story of a centurion whose servant is sick, the centurion said, Lord, just say a word and my servant will be healed. But my dear brothers and sisters, the sad part of the story, our gospel story this evening, is that after the lepers receive healing and blessing from God, after receiving God's mercy and goodness, only one went back to God and say, or go, went back to Jesus and say, thank you. Only went back to God praising Him for the mercy and goodness He received in His life. And that leper is a Samaritan, a foreigner. Hindi kalahi ni Jesus, hindi ka uri ni Jesus na hudyo. Siya pa yung bumalik at nagpasalamat sa kanya. Then we're shouting, at the beginning with a loud voice saying, Jesus, have pity on us. But only one went back shouting, thanking God for His goodness, for the healing He received. Sampu ang sumisigaw ng Lord, kawan mo kami. Pero isa lang ang patuloy na sumisigaw, consistently shouting and thanking God for His goodness. When I was assigned in a school as a chaplain, lalong-lalo na pag may mga board exams, bar exams, final exams, maraming estudyante ang pupunta sa chapel at magdarasal. Hihingi ng biyaya sa Diyos. Hihingi ng pagbabasbas ng pari. Father, pwedeng pabless, mayroon akong board exam, bar exams. And so, we will bless them. We will pray over them. Sasabihin pa, Father, pwedeng pabless ang aking ballpen, ang aking calculator and notebook na gagamitin ko sa exam. Yan, bibindisyon na namin. No? But after the exams, only few will go back to the chapel and thank the Lord. 
Only few are consistent in going back to God, glorifying Him. My dear brothers and sisters, our gospel challenges us to reflect. Do we still know how to be grateful to God? Marunong pa ba tayong magpasalamat sa buhay natin? Isa sa mga unang salita na itinuro sa atin ng ating mag- mga magulang nung tayo bata pa ay ang salitang salamat po. One of the first words that our parents imparted to us or teach us when we were st- small kids is to always say, thank you. Salamat po. Agyaman na unay, daghang salamat. Dios mabalos. Every dialect and language, we have our different ways and words to say our gratitude. When we were small, spontaneously, pag merong binigay sa atin, kahit anong bagay, or even an acts of goodness to us, nung tayo maliit na bata, spontaneously we say, thank you, salamat po. But today, we try to reflect at our age, 20, 30, 50, 70, 80 years old, do we still know how to say thank you? Salamat po. Whenever we receive something from others, and most especially to God, marunong ba tayong magpasalamat sa Diyos? When we grew up and advanced in age and wisdom habang tayo tumatanda, instead of gratitude, we replace it with a lot of complaints and grumbles. Instead of appreciation for the gift that we receive, we replace it with unsatisfied attitude or even criticize the gift that we receive. We want bigger. We want more. Bakit ganito lang? Bakit ganyan lang? A good example, pag tayo nagdarasa, Lord, ito yung hinihingi ko, bakit ito lang yung binigay mo? We replace gratitude with complaint. We replace appreciation with criticism. Isa sa kanta na lagi namin kinakanta dito sa seminaryo ay ang kantang Walang Hanggang Pasasalamat. It's a beautiful song that describes our unlimited gratitude to the goodness of God in our life. Araw-araw, marami tayong dapat pas- pagpasalamatan sa Diyos. From the rising of the sun, paggising natin sa umaga, until we sleep at night, ang daming dapat pasalamatan sa Diyos. Sabi sa lyrics ng kantang Walang Hanggang Pasasalamat, sabi, Salamat sa iyo, aming ama. Salamat sa iyong mga likha. Salamat sa liwanag ng araw at buwan. Salamat, Panginoong Isus. Salamat sa iyong pagliligtas. Salamat sa buhay na walang hanggan. Salamat sa Espiritong Banal, sa liwanag ng buhay. Salamat sa walang hanggang patnubay mo. Salamat sa mga magulang ko. Salamat sa mga kapatid ko. Salamat sa lahat ng kaibigan ko. Salamat sa bawat pagsubok. Salamat sa tibay ng loob. Salamat sa landas ng pagbabago. Salamat sa wagas na pag-ibig mo. Salamat at inibig mo ako. Salamat sa bawat taong nagmamahal. Walang hanggang pasasalamat. Ang dami nating dapat pagpasalamatan sa Diyos. And so as we reflect our gospel story to this evening, the story of the ten lepers and only one went back to God, we're being challenged and we try to reflect that the message of it is first, God is consistent in His presence and goodness to us. Maging sino ka man, Samaritan or Jew, seminarista ka man o hindi, God's blessing and graces is inclusive para sa lahat, hindi exclusive. God's grace is consistent. God's goodness is always flowing in our life. St. Paul says, if we are unfaithful, He remains faithful, for He cannot deny Himself. Truly, God is good all the time. But if we reflect, it is us who is not consistent. We only go to God and only kneel when we need something. When we are at already at the point of danger and suffering, doon lang tayo lalapit sa Diyos at magdarasal. 
It is only, it is us who is exclusive. We exclude God in our life when we are already at the, when we feel okay, when we feel that we can do it by our own. Saka na lang si Lord, kaya ko pa naman. We exclude God in our life. In our gospel, ten shouted to God, asking a favor, but only one is consistent in shouting praise to God. Are we the nine who is not consistent in going near to God? Or are we the one who is always consistent in shouting to God in good times and even in bad times of our life? Second, when we know, when we know how to say thank you, we also know how to share. The Mass, sabi ko nga kanina sa introduction, the Eucharist that we are celebrating is always a celebration of thanksgiving. It is a celebration of the goodness of the Lord in our life. But the greatest challenge of the Eucharist that we are celebrating is to share the blessings that we receive from it. To share the blessings sir, we receive from God. Kaya nga ang the word thanksgiving is a combination of two words, thanks and giving. Pagpapasalamat at pagbibigay. It means that the gifts we receive is also the gift that we receive, we shared. The gifts that we receive is also a, a gift to be shared. We learn to share our blessing. We learn to be instrument of God's goodness to others. Remember this, my dear brothers and sisters. Ang taong marunong magpasalamat ay siya rin ang taong marunong magbigay. Marunong magbahagi ng kanyang biyaya sa buhay. People who are always grateful in their life are also those people who are so generous in their life. People who are always grateful in their life are also people who are generous in their life. And because of that kind of attitude, mas maraming blessing ang natatanggap sa buhay. The more we know how to be thankful in our life, the more our, our life will be full of blessing. In the Gospel, ten receive God's grace of healing. Physical, emotional healing. Sampu sila nakatanggap. But yung taong, yung leper na isa, na bumalik at nagpasalamat sa Diyos and say, Thank you, Lord. He does not only receive physical, emotional, and spiritual healing from Jesus, but he received the greatest gift of Jesus. And that is salvation. Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The more we are grateful and the more we share our blessing, the more God will give us many blessings in our life. The word gratitude, again, another word, has a two words, gratitude. It means great attitude. Magandang ugali. A person's greatest attitude, magandang ugali, is he or she knows how to be grateful, thankful to God in his life, whatever blessings or graces he or she received. And the graces and blessings he or she received, he shared it to others. And that is a great attitude. Ang, maru ang magandang ugali ay ang taong marunong magpasalamat. At ang taong marunong magpasalamat, marunong din magbahagi. My dear brothers and sisters, do we have a great attitude? Maganda ba ang ugali mo? Please stand. God gives, uh, gives so much grace, healing, and pardon, but we take Him for granted. We forget to thank Him. Let us bring our prayers to Him in a spirit of gratitude. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church on earth may continue to heal broken lives in the power of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that we may praise and thank God for the gift of life, faith, health, and happiness, and the warmth of family, friends, and community. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That we may always give thanks in every aspect of our lives for the love that God lavished on us by adopting us as His children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may join the saints in the worship of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our our prayer. prayer. We also continue to ask for God's protection and for God's blessing, especially those who will be affected by this typhoon that we are experiencing in our country. And to continue to ask for healing and protection from this pandemic, the COVID-19 that we are experiencing worldwide. May God always give us the blessings we need in our life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we thank you for our lives and the new life you have given us through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify these offerings, we pray, O Lord God, which we joyfully present in honor of Saint Martin, so that through them our life may always be directed, whether in tribulation or in prosperity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with with your your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It It is is right right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, we are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, serve support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory through Christ our Lord. And so with the angels and archangels, with the great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim.
Santo, 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 Panginoong Diyos, napupuno ang langit at lupa ng kadakilaan mo. sa kaitaasan pinapalang na paririto sa mala ng Panginoon o sana o sana o sana sa kaitaasan o sana o sana o sana sa You are indeed holy, O Lord, the pond of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fought, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving a thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for it is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy, the religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, Saint Martin of Tours, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be glorious to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. by divine teaching we dare to say.
grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles peace I leave you my peace I give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace and the love of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. We share to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Oh 
Let us pray. Grant to us who have been restored by the sacrament of unity, O Lord, perfect harmony with your will in all things, that just as St. Martin submitted himself entirely to you, so we too may glory in being truly yours through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We now pray the Oracho Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19. Let us disturb and even claim lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. And ever. Amen. We fly, we fly to your protection, protection holy, holy Mother of God. God. Do not, not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenz Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Arnold and Johnson and Joseph Renadimets, pray for us. Saint Martin of Tours, pray for us. Before the final blessing, allow me to invite you, my dear brothers and sisters, for our first musical online musical concert this coming November 20, 21, and 22. It will be live streamed through this Facebook page. Our seminarians here in Christ the King Mission Seminary with their mentor, Professor Ramon Akoimo, will render you songs composed by Father Benigno Beltran, SBD. These songs that Father Ben Beltran composed is for the Mother Earth as we celebrate the fifth anniversary of Pope Francis Encyclica Laudato Si, a reminder to take care of our Mother Earth. So join us this coming 20, 21, and 22 at 4 o'clock and 8 p.m for this uh, musical concert entitled Harinawa. This is also in connection to our celebration of our feast day, the Solemnity of Christ the King, the feast day of our seminary. So Harinawa, samahan nyo kami sa musical concert at Harinawa, supportan nyo po kami dito sa Christ the King Mission Seminary. Maraming salamat po. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, we bow our heads, we pray for God's blessing. Look with favor on your family, O Lord, and bestow your endless mercy on those who seek it. And just as without your mercy, they can do nothing truly worthy of you. So through it, may they merit 
to obey your saving commands through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and share the good news of our salvation. Thanks be to God. Amen. May the Holy Trian God live in our hearts. Saint Arnold Jensen, Saint Joseph Renademitz, Saint Martin of Tours. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.